Hey folks, this is the day for the episode number three. Uh, how we gonna strip all the chassis of the Isuzu Trooper 3.1, and uh, this is the episode number three and the number episode number 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 so much number. I'm not good enough in the numbers. So in today's episode, mainly we're gonna take out the, take off the the axles, both axles axles probably start with the, the back one, then we will move to the front one, but um, I will start probably with all small bits, you know, to take out these lines, the fuel lines, the, the brake lines. Um, I don't know, I don't know how cold this this how cold this. Uh, Gearbox mount, no, with travers or whatever. But the piece, the strange piece, I will take out and and yeah. So step by step, I want to clear it and clean it and then weld it and put it together. Yeah, we will start with these lines and. Uh, we don't want to. I don't want to save, save them. And but anyway, I will. I will take take them, take them out. Uh, it, like I I want to check how it looks like back. You know, for remember all line how they looks like and uh, all these bends and and where they start and where where they finishing. And all these plastic bits I need to take out carefully to to save them for later. And uh, can't remember where it exactly and how they got. There is some plastic thing. And it's going one, two, three, four, five. And there, I don't know what's that. It's a plastic bit. And there is some plastic, and there is some plastic, and there is some holes. Oh no, this, these are industrial. From the manufacturer, yeah. This is the first what I will do. took out uh, these plastic plugs for these holes don't know why are they are here but here you can see there's one two three four big ones four small ones and one the, the round one the not round one the volume and uh, on the other side I will take these ones need to take out as well and here is one two small ones then is big one then is again big one then is again big one small one small one the shitty one and big one
same as other side 8 plus 1 so the next we will move to the back to the these, these lines these small plastic hoses but all these stuff is broken and I already I tried to take out these ones strip these ones and they broken and I don't know how how to remove them properly we'll see anyway these plastic things it looks like that it's going the lines is going there there and you take a flat screwdriver flat screwdriver and just push it in open these two tabs and then you can get out the the lines uh, this uh, plastic bit is very very fragile and uh, take it very easy out but it's Let's turn it to 19 degrees and then take it out. Something like that. is gone the fuel lines is gone the old plastic bits is gone now we're gonna move on on this uh, subframe for for the gearbox 8 volts on 19 and it's gonna be on the ground next then we will move on the back axle Here it is, it's down, I don't know for what is these metal plates and each on each side, one on each side and now we will move on back, uh, back axle, probably the roll bar, shock absorbers and then there is these main ones, this one looks very rusty eh? put on some WD-40 but I'm <laughs> I don't think so I, I think this is will be job for the angle grind <laughs>
let's move on on the other side and continue, continue. This was the right side rear shock absorber. Now we're gonna move on this bar on this one and probably leave there. But where it's connecting to the frame, this, this bolt we take out and uh, then we will move to the these three in the main I don't know how they call bars uh, structures. This bolt is on 19.
and this crazy bolt we managed somehow managed to uh, open, undo, unscrew, and uh, actually everything is uh, disconnected to remove uh, remove the back axle. We need a little bit to lift it up and uh, take it out. Ha! <laughs> And here we are from this side, the rear axle is out, it was a little bit sketchy, but everything is a little bit sketchy, how you know. Yeah, I found out here, <coughs> probably the rear inside is limited slip differential. Interesting, kind of cool. What you are saying about this one, if you are watching, maybe leave a comment. <laughs> maybe you can leave a comment, yeah, some, some question or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. 